I am here to show you a hair tutorial that Natalie sent me um, just to try and show you that you can try to curl your own hair for a boudoir shoot. I don't recommend learning how to do it on the day of your shoot because um, in all honesty I've tried to do this tutorial twice already. <laughs> it does, it takes practice so um, but I am here to show you that it can be done with practice. Okay, let's get started. I'll put my heat protectant in. You can do it before I work it in layer by layer. Honestly, it just depends how I'm feeling. So I'm just going to put this up here so I can get it in some of the bottom layers. <laughs> I'm using the L'Oreal Paris brand, but there are lots of different brands, and Natalie has her own recommendation, which I will share in the written text that goes with the video. Now, I washed my hair last night, which is a recommendation from most hairstylists that I've talked to. That styling hair that has been washed the night before is always just a little easier. I'm going to brush my hair. I usually part it on the side, but for this I am going to part it down the middle just so my sections are even and it's just a little less confusing for somebody like me who has almost no idea how to style hair outside of just putting in a basic ponytail. Okay, so I already did my bottom row just because it, that one's kind of difficult to see it on. Um, but I take my bottom section and I section it from like where my finger meets my ear and whatever is below that is what I usually curl. We want to section out the top from the bottom. Um, Natalie's recommendation is going, starting your line one or two fingers above your ear and then taking that all around the crown of your head to make your top and your bottom sections. Now, I have a mirror behind me, or beside me. I will have to readjust that, but I'm going to use that to try and do the back sections because I really struggled with doing the back sections when I couldn't see them. So I'm going to use that to try and make sure I've got either enough hair or not too little, not too much hair on the back. Okay, so I have a giant chunk here that can go up. If you've got a mirror that you can put behind you, that definitely helps make it easier when you're trying to do this, because not all of us are skilled at doing something on the backs of our heads like this. I'm going to do this to try and see the back this way. Disclaimer, I am not a hairdresser, <laughs> but I am somebody who doesn't style my hair regularly, and that is why I want to do this tutorial to show you that even a regular person can style their own hair, and I think I just screwed up my second. Alright, so to keep that top section up, I'm just going to twist. To clip it, it's my hair in your flip. Keep all that top hair up on top of my head. Okay, I think that's looking good. Yeah. All right. I am going to brush it out. Next thing I want to do is split it down the middle, and I'm going to work from the back towards the front. So, split it down the middle. Now, the last two times I've done this, the part that has been the struggle has been the left hand side. I'm going to start with that one. And we'll section this one off and just set that the little ponytail. Okay, now that here. 
out of the way. Alright, let's start here. Now, I have <clears throat> this pattern. I admit it's very old. I think I bought it when I was in Vancouver, which was over a decade ago. But it's uh, the Go Styling Iron by the Fajai Heat. Um, and it has, I mean, it's worked for over a decade for me. But it got used rarely. <laughs> It has a heat setting between 140 and 410 Fahrenheit. One of the mistakes I was making in my earlier attempts was setting the heat at the highest heat. Now, you don't want to set it that high. You actually want it at as low a heat as possible to hold a curl. So, I did set it, I'm, there's no actual number on it, but I'm hoping around 350. But it's definitely less than 410. <laughs> I tape what I've curled out of the way. Sometimes I find it's easiest to go from the back when you're working with um, those higher layers. So I'm taking it and I'm making sure that my hair is in front of my shoulders. So I'm gonna kind of just finger comb it through. I have my super old flat iron, so my logo is right there. So I keep my strand up, you absolutely do not have to. So my logo goes to the front, I'm gonna turn it. And you can see like I'm using my fingers rather than like all of my palm. And then I'm just gonna pull it through. And it creates this little curl. Okay, so we sectioned in half. I'm going to pull my brush it out again. And we're going to take it in one inch slices from the section. And I will go from the back just because it's easier to keep the curls out of the way once they're curled when you go back to front. <coughs> okay, let's see, maybe going. Okay. Once I have the flat iron on it, I want to curl it towards my face. Towards my face. I'm going to do a gentle pass on the hair to warm it up. It's a little hot, it's hot. Then go one inch away from the root and begin to turn the flat iron halfway away from the face. So now I'm going to find all my straight hair again. Take another section and do the same thing, so logo to the mirror, switching my hands, making sure it's sitting where I need to, and then pulling it all the way through once that logo is back at the mirror, so. Apparently I'm a little directionally challenged when it comes to which way to turn this flat iron, so this first piece is going to be a bit of a test. I'm going to turn it towards my face. <clears throat> okay, and because my hair back here is just a little shorter, I'm going to start the curl as close to the root as possible. Um, especially with longer hair, you want to try and like curl it around the flat iron and turn the flat iron at least once. And then you get it wrapped around there once and then start pulling it through the strand. And if you want, you can add an extra little turn right at the end. So let's give this a try. And I'm going to hold on to the hair. A little light pressure, holding on to the end to control it. Pulling all the way through, a little extra turn. Let's see what happened. I think I have a little curl. Perfect. All right, next to section. Now I'm keeping the sections that I'm grabbing a little bit smaller because I have a, a lot of hair, like a lot of strands, it's very thin. So if I grab too much, that might not curl very nicely. So I'm keeping it nice and small. And then because these guys are a little bit curlier than what I would normally like, I'm just gonna smooth those ends out like that. That one went a little wrong, so because that one's just a little extra curly, I'm just going to run the flat iron through it just to pull the curl out a little bit. But it's 
got a nice little curl to it. So. Beautiful. Now, I think what I want to do is try to straighten it just a smidge, just so we get more waves and less curl. The way to do that is just run the flat iron through the ends. And I'm sure once I am done and I'm running my fingers through, it will loosen up a little bit. Okay. That left hand side, that was my problem area, so we did that one. Let's do the other bottom section. Alright, starting from the back. Another thing you want to be careful of that I have learned in my past two attempts is not to pull too hard on the hair when you're pulling through because that uh, stretches the hair, reduces its curl. So be gentle, don't be in a rush. Okay, bottom's done. I'm mad about it. Okay. I personally don't want to take the whole top section down. I think I'm going to split it. I might even do it. I might split it into three sections just because I do have so much hair. So much hair. Okay. I'm going to brush this out. You can kind of, if you're using the mirror, you can kind of see if you're pulling curls up. Heat it up. Oops. Pull the stuff forward that we don't want to do there. Probably my biggest challenge here is feeling like my arms are getting tired. <laughs> because I am holding them up above my head. A few moments later. Could use a little more, but that's okay. I think I've achieved what I need to. Okay. Let's do this last section. Two thousand years. Later. I'm pretty impressed with myself this time around. All right. So now that I have all my curls in, um, I come through it with my fingers. This is what we look like right now. That one's a little. That's okay. Now, if you're somebody who has hair that doesn't like to hold a curl very well, this is when you'd put hairspray in. I may have overcurled a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just happy that I'm a girl. I'm looking on the back. Bit of wave back there. Some pieces did hold a bit row, but that's the natural part that I give. Oh, that's even better actually. Alright, let me know if you tried it. <laughs>